Welcome back to the adventures of um, whoever the hell we are now. King Moon Moon Aegidius, Ad Ag Aegidius? Sure, of Greece, son of Moon Moon's son, who was in turn the son of Moon Moon's son. Last episode, I failed one of the goals set by you, the committee, and in response I asked for a punishment, and you have provided the punishment. Please may I have another one, Daddy. No, one is enough, because what you guys have said... Do I edit that out? Are you two going to demonetize me? Who gives a shit? You guys have said to declare war on the Aztec Empire. Uh, this could be the worst thing you've come up with so far. So, on the plus side, it's sort of cancelled out our goal of um, swearing fealty to the Aztec Empire by virtue of us going to war with them instead. And as our goal was Hans Zoroastrian uh, Byzantium, I suppose that's two birds with one stone, so that's a positive thing. Um, all I have to do is pay the low, low cost of um, fighting 136,000 men with about 8,000. So, this is not going to be a problem at all. Now, our council will probably say no, because they're pragmatists, unlike you guys who've... Council? Pragmatist? What is wrong with you? Do you know what the word pragmatist means? Alright, yeah, let's go to war with a dude who has, what is that, 50 times our troop count? Sure, why the fuck not? Right, team, uh, what we want to do then is probably, let's think, uh, 20 times our troop count. What do, what do we think then? Let's, first things first, do, do, should we wait for him? I honestly don't know what to do. Um, how do I fight an enemy this much larger than myself? Okay, I'm going to bide my time, because I've only got to do it this episode. We never stipulated that I had to do it instantly the second we got into the episode. If you guys want to do things like that in the future, you're more than welcome to. But this was a very open punishment, which in some ways I appreciate, but obviously you guys won't be pleased. And I'm going to try and bide my time, build up my strength. That doesn't mean I'm going to sit here for four hours, Okay. We're still going to be there within the half an hour time frame. So what we're going to do, we're going to let some time tick. We're going to grow. We're going to pay off our loans. We're going to pay off our loans so that if we need it, if, if things are looking like we could potentially defeat the Aztecs, I'll hire some mercenaries and boat them over. This also gives me a chance to uh, build up the realm as well. Maybe convert some of these villages into into actual cities so that we could, you know, use them in the future and not have uh, tribal vassals. Repay the loan. There we go. Right. Um, let's engage in... I love the fact that as an eight-year-old boy, we have the ability to argue with bankers and find loopholes in their contract. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Lose 280 gold, but we didn't have to pay the full 400. So we're saving 20 gold per loan. We're getting back 100 gold, but we are obviously paying... You know, we're still losing 80% of the interest right there. So... Still not great. Now, what are our other goals in the short term? Well, we have to uh, conquer Estonia. Hmm. Now, we did start on conquering Estonia, didn't we? We've actually grabbed a very small amount of Estonia. So, apparently, I've understood, misunderstood the CK2 mechanics in the sense that you can only push weak claims on uncrowned rulers. I thought you had to do it if you were uncrowned, but no, it's, it's the other way around. So, basically, we're waiting for a succession... In, uh, in Estonia, for example, this kid who is not crowned. I assume we can maybe push a weak claim on him. I'm not sure. I don't think we even have the claim because our last character didn't push it because of that very reason. So, we can just holy war them. I have a feeling if we dropped a big enough retinue slash mercenary band there and just siege it down because it's a single county. Even if we holy war them and they call in all their Finnic allies or whatever the hell they are. Yeah, they are Finnic. They call in all the Finnic allies kicking around uh, this sort of uh, Northern Europe area. Then it won't matter too much just because it's single county. As long as we can get in, smash the place down, get out, we'll be fine. Like, we can win that war with no problems. I kind of noticed there is a nomadic horde there in the middle of Switzerland. Uh, Kargan, Urbard, of, uh, it's a Germanic, pagan, Swiss nomad. Yep, why not? So, we probably, if we are going to go to war on the Aztec Empire, don't want to wait too much time anyway, because obviously the longer we leave it, the stronger they're going to get, and the more wars they're going to get into, the more land they're going to take. Um, they're currently defending against a conquest of Gascon? How many men has he got? He's got 33,000 men. Shit, okay, fair enough. Um, that might bring their numbers down a little bit, because you've got to remember, these are event spawn troops. So, as long as the AI is chipping him down, we might be okay. Um, he's also attacking High Chief Walther of Luxembourg. Wow, really? He's going all the way up here, is he? Right, fine. Um, that's only just launched. So, maybe between those two battles, and as that's a holy war as well... Yeah, it is a holy war, isn't it? Aztec subjugation. Now, I'm not sure if you can call in your same religious groups into that war. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. We can actually check. No, there's no attackers or defenders there yet. Maybe over time some more people will join. Let's keep an eye on it. We want to attack the Aztecs when they're weak. Okay, uh, Jerry King, is this for you? No, it's not. 
Uh, warriors of death. Word has it that the enemies of Egypt have something new to fear. Warriors atop chariots with bow and arrow alongside fearsome spear troops. Okay, why not? Um, the warriors of death of Anubis have formed. That's fine by me. Why not have the warriors of death form? I don't think it's much cause for concern at this stage anyway. We've got bigger fish to fry. So before we went to go attack the Aztecs, why don't we go for like this dude, for example. So he's in a war right now. 46% um, in favor of him. But he's only got 3,000 men versus our 8,000. He has tribal though, so we could summon some friends. I actually want this province that he's sort of taken from us. Now he can call in clans even if we go for Dijon. That's a little bit annoying. But I just want to connect up my borders here and obviously get as much of the Byzantine Empire as possible. How far off are we? Of that now. So we need 400 gold to be able to make uh, Nicaea, Nicaea, however you say that. You know what? I think we've got it, haven't we? We don't actually need to take any more land. So we'll make the empire before we do anything else. I think that's not a bad idea. Do you want to get in the trait fussy? Uh, patient, greedy, or paranoid? Patient is good. Paranoid is good. Greedy is not so good in CK2+, plus because it doesn't give that tax modifier. Um, what do we think? I'm not sure how I feel about this. Uh, stewardship plus one. No, fuck it. Let's go gain the prestige. Hey, that worked out much, much better. I ran very fast and made it in time. I had lots of fun and the servants seemed to like me. Diplomacy plus one, Marshal plus one. I didn't know that was an outcome from that. That's me, the uh, rich childhood mod, I think. So I don't really know any of the outcomes from it at all. Oh, and we now now a depressed 10-year-old boy. To be fair, he ha he's had chest pains now for about five years. So honestly, maybe that's kind of understandable. Um, Depression at the age of 11, though. What the fuck are we going to do about that? Suppose we take the hunting folks. I think hunting folks and carousing both have an equal chance to get rid of it. I don't really want to make that our initial goal, seeing as there are much better options, but maybe we have to. Anyway, um, that's reminded me. No, let's save up the gold and actually make the empire first. I was going to say we'll upgrade some of our tribal holdings, but no, let's just hang on to this gold and create uh, the kingdom of Nicaea or Nicaea, however the hell you say it, and then make the uh, the Zoroastrian, no Zoroastrian, Byzantine Empire. Or, I think it'll be the Eastern Roman Empire, because we're not Orthodox, won't it? Uh, yeah, Eastern Roman Empire. Nice. Uh, two kingdom titles, and we need 900 gold. Jesus. Okay, um... That's basically it. All of the following must be true. Game has blah, 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 blah. Yep, good. We're fine, then. So, our education has come out very neutrally. Doesn't matter what we train ourselves in. In theory, we're just going to come out very middle ground. Now, we do have brilliant... That might play into the education. Now, uh, shrewd, quick, and genius level characters have an increased chance of getting a higher education level. So, I'm not sure whether this works, because this is a, obviously uh, a mod trait. So, that might not be the case. What do we want to train him, realistically? He's a very, very good diplomat. And I feel like not training him in diplomacy would suck. We could always go with Marshall and try and round him out a little bit more. Uh, I mean, Marshall would help with our troop count, wouldn't it, as well? Fuck it. Yeah, you know what? Let's do something weird. We've already got enough diplomacy to really make everyone like us anyway without having to worry about anything. Like, everyone loves us besides this one kid that we defeated in war. And even then, that's going to expire within, like, what is that? Within seven years anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. All of our other vassals like us. Let's go for Marshall. Let's get ourselves a good guardian, because we actually don't have a guardian right now. We want to find someone who is patient, uh, diligent. Someone with good martial stats that obviously you want to inherit. Preferably someone who's a, a formidable fighter as well would definitely do the trick. Okay, Temperate and Patient and Diligent are the best education traits. Because they all give bonuses to the potential education level as well. Um, I need to find somebody who ticks all of these boxes. That might be very, very difficult. Let's go to the character finder. See if we can uh, employ someone. During court, yes. So we need someone with formidable fighter, ideally. That's sort of the main thing I'm looking for here. Um... Wow, there doesn't seem to be anyone with formidable fighter. Shit. Wow, really? The most we've got is like trained fighters here. Um, for me, for form. Seriously, there's no one with formidable fighter. Okay. Um, so basically, we've got to pick from our own damn round then. Uh, sign guardian. Right. Let's sort by Marshall again. So we have ourselves a novice fighter, a skilled fighter. He's just, but he hasn't got any good education traits. This guy's formidable, but he's also cruel and wrath and possessed and proud. He's got Brave, Temperate, and Formidable Fighter, which are sort of winning me over a little bit. I think it's going to have to be that dude. Again, I don't like it because he's also Old Celtic. And he's a different culture, which is going to give us some malices. But that chance of getting Formidable Fighter is too good. Personal Combat Skill, plus five. Martial, plus two. I mean, he's got Brave as well. Fuck it. Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's, let's give it a go. They've changed the education system so much, and so much plays into it now. 
that it's very difficult to know what is going to be best. You know, normally you would just look for, like I said, uh, shrewd, quick, genius characters with diligent, temperate, patient, um, and then any other traits you'd kind of like to inherit. Seeing as we've already got, you know, just charitable kind, I'm not really looking for any particular traits besides Brave from this dude. Brave, formidable fighter, that would be incredible. Can we do anything else? Oh, we need our new Marshal. Oh, see, this guy would also be really, really good because he's got Gregarious and Duelist and Marshal leadership traits. Now, I think we'll be fine. Um, train troops, the rest of revolts, or organize the army. Let's train troops. Ready for our Aztec invasion. Hey, there we are. So, in theory, if we manage to get a uh, formidable fighter before this kid comes of age, we could always just switch educator anyway. As that's all I'm interested in getting with this dude. So that's going to increase martial and personal combat. And eventually it leads to things like health, prestige, you know, all those good things that we'd want for our leader here. Especially when we're in a tribal country as well. Having the ability to duel people and having the prestige is going to be a nice little bonus as well. Ooh, not ideal. Okay, so we've got a Papalagonian Hellenic Revolt. How many men have they got? 2,000. Ooh, that's not nice at all, is it? Luckily, we've got a decent amount of troops now. We've got 10,000 men. Hey, the Aztecs are looking more and more within reach. I'm hoping some of those wars will have killed off some of their own event spawn troops as well. Let's take a look. They're up to 102,000 men. Um, As long as the event spawn troops are being killed off faster and obviously they can build up their own domain size, that's fine. Because those troops are never coming back. And chances are they're going to get rebellions as well. Their troops are going to be very, very slowly whittled down. With the Aztecs in this game, it's very much a war of attrition always. Nice. We've done it. The Regency for King Moon Moon Agidius of Greece has ended. Oh shit, look at that. I've finished my education in the ways of war. I feel I've found my true calling. Gain the trait. Brilliant strategies. What else did we get from that? Um, I can't really tell. Oh, we got the trait Brave. That's great. We got the trait Ambitious too. No? I think we already had ambitious, didn't we? We've got the trait proud. That's what we've got. Okay. Um, not great. And obviously, we have ourselves a little bit of depression. But we've got ourselves a sister bride wife, which is exactly what we want. Um, can we also marry another one? Do we have any other half-sister? Jill do? Wait. My half-sister? Oh, God. I remember. We pollinated about 60,000 women, didn't we? Okay. Uh, arranged marriage between us. No, arranged marriage between... Can we not have a second wife? Oh, we have to take concubines, don't we? My mistake. Take concubines. Have we got any that are related to us? No. Uh, do we have any other sisters that are out there in the world? Where is she? She's in Greece. Take concubine? No. Is claimant. Yeah, but like... She's my sister, though. And I'd like to take her as a concubine as per our religious arrangements. Oh, invite her to a court. Break this betrothal. My god, she's marrying to an Aztec. Um, break betrothal. Get out. This is mine now. Take concubine. Boom. She's also brilliant and agile. She has low fertility, but that shouldn't matter too much. Um, who else have we got that is related to us? We've got this lady who is already married. A bit late for that one. Um, she's miles away. Invite to court. Yes. Okay, welcome. And let's uh, go ahead and take her as a concubine as well. Well, we can tick incest off the list, I think, if we've got three sister wives. Um, Half-sister already, already on board. Thank you. Um, what do we have? What do we have? Women, women, women. Prince Moon Moon of Greece, my half-sister. Uh, invite to court. Yes. Brilliant. Oh, we should probably find someone who's a bit more appropriate because she doesn't have any of the congenital traits. So if we go, um, dynasty? Well, uh, let's go moon, moon? No? There we go. Right. Let's take a look. Uh, gender, women. Right. So these are all of our sisters. Now, these are the ones in our court already. Um, when you say join court, any. Oh, apparently that, okay, that will automatically show the ones in your court. She is quite scary, so not you. Um, she's got terrible traits, so not you. Linda is useless, so not you either. Shit, we've only got useless ones left. Oh, she's really good. Silver Tongue, brilliant, appealing. Okay, you're on my shortlist. We've also got uh, Immaculate Prolific. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think we'll take her instead. So I'll send her a gift. Invite her to court, and she'll say no. Right, okay, fair enough. Buy a favor. Then she'll say yes. Right. Yeah, there we go. Right, invite to court, and boom. There we go. We have our third wife, fourth wife, third wife. What a lineup. The dream team. We have Princess Moon Moon, our sister, Princess Moon Moon, our sister, and Princess Moon Moon, our sister. Hang on. Wait, that's their last name. Uh, I'm not trying to pronounce these names, because honestly, I don't know what any of these letters mean. Right, let's do it then. Okay, so Aztecs, time to die. War focus. Look at this man. Ready? How much marshal is he going to have? 28 marshal. 26 diplomacy. He's such a good character. Better than our last character? Honestly, probably, yeah. Despite the fact that this dude had, like, shrewd and, and brilliant and two education traits, this guy came out better. How do we do it? I'm not sure. Oh, we have an adventurer to deal with. Um, you can die. <laughs> you can die. 
But will are you gonna die? Will you die? Maybe not. Uh, let's send us some gifts. Let's send these guys some gifts. We do need to save some gold to create that kingdom level title. You can only do it when you don't have a regency. So now that we ha no longer have a regency, we could start work on the true Byzantine Han Empire. 104%. Okay, that worked pretty well. Where is she right now? Um, where are you actually, though? You are in, at core, in that place, Kru Krusevac, Krusevac, um, in Pomoralvi. Sure, this one here. Right, let's send our spy master. Oh, hang on. Put him CK2+, I don't need to do that. Um, study tech. Nope. Build a spy network. Let's have this lady killed. My wife, Gerberge, is pregnant. Oh my god, Gerberge. Um, that- Oh, she's the good wife. Oh, she's my actual wife as well, not just concubine. Nice, okay. Silver-tongued, brilliant, prolific, capable, and of course with our immaculate as well. This kid could be incredible. Probably gonna be shit, but they could be incredible. Um, we're gonna need way more kids than that if we're gonna keep rolling the dice anyway. So we still can't have an advisor because fuck you, CK2+. This woman's at 108%. We've got a royal coronation to do. Good plan. Let's do that. Excellent, thank you. Preferably don't declare war before my coronation. Thank you. Uh, oh shit. Hurry up with it. Shall we take a traditional dynastic name? Of course, we will be named Sun in honor of our father, the Sun, and his father, Sun. We are our father's son, if you will. I'm the Greek coronation. Uh, I am the Greek coronation. Why not? I, son of the Moon Moon Dynasty and the blessings of the prophets are Asher, do by hereby rightfully assume the crown of the Kingdom of Greece. We are now crowned. And in fact, we even put a crown on our head. That's a nice little attention to detail there. What artifacts have we got then? Do we want to get some... Um, when we get the Empire level title, obviously if we save up enough gold, if we build up our promises enough, it will definitely be worth going for those Smith events to get the free little bit of uh, vassal opinion that we can get from that. Extra prestige. Shit, we're already up to 2200 prestige and we are 17 years old. That's pretty decent. Um... Let's go for this one to impress everybody. Then, we've got to save up a little bit more gold. And I think the Aztecs are looking right for the killing. 15,000 men versus their poxy 98,000 men. Ugh. Um, With decent organization, I think we can do it. And suddenly, I've changed my mind. You have a new heir. Your character will now be Prince Moon Moon Berto of Greece. King Son III have ascended to heaven at the age of 17. He died clutching his heart. Although not especially blessed, we hope. So he had a heart attack for approximately 17 years. Uh, that's actually just a glitch in the game. I'm just going to roll with it, though. Funnily enough, a character isn't supposed to have permanent chest pains for that long. Um, again, let's just roll with it. See how it goes. W what the fuck are you, Tam Tam Tamazite? The ancient religion of the Berbers. Oh my god. Of course. Of course he's got the ancient religion of the Berbers, and he's also shit. What would, what would I expect? Right, so be it. Yep, uh, save president as protected president. Little prospers, please don't have a succession crisis, for God's sake. Rulership focus. <sighs> Thank God those wives aren't going to waste, though. That's all I can say. Um, we'll marry you despite the fact that you're pregnant with our brother's son. Because I don't think it really matters at this stage who's pregnant with what now. Um, oh, shit. Let's convert to Zoroastrian, please. Oh, my God. Do we not have the option? Wait, hang on. Our wife is Zoroastrian. Convert to Zoroastrian face. There we go. Okay, right. Ooh, that was a close call. Ooh, damn, dangerous. Now we can take our sisters as our concubines again. Damn, I was getting a little bit worried then for a second. Um, there's you and, of course, uh, you as well. Perfect. I'd never notice. Right, let's have a son. I can't believe how much... Went from one of the best characters I've ever had to this man with his seven stewardship. Fan-fucking-tastic. Well, now we've got a waste of shit, so more money getting coronated again. Uh, let's go for our crown focusing, obviously, Tesco Express. <laughs> so tilted by that, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not bringing it up. Not drawing any attention to it. This guy is much, much better than us. Is he our heir? Should we just, should we just commit die? Um, no, this guy can commit die because he's shit. Let's, let's try and play as a better character. This, this fucker's useless. Right, commit die. Thank you. Off you go. Uh, do I want a coronation? No. No, I do not. Um, get her more to read. Plus 10% fertility. Now, we did, one of the other things you guys worked on was not killing off anybody who didn't have, um, not killing off any regular, normal members of our dynasty. However, this dude has low fertility. He is frail. I feel like that counts for somebody who is inferior for our, our Spartan traditions. Obviously, we started in, uh, Spartan, uh, Spartan. Where is Spartan these days? All the way down there. We were Spartans. Now we are, obviously, kings. Um, but more to the point, you know, that was another thing that's voted on. I'll take that to heart. I will, I will, even though it wasn't the top result, we'll also use that as a punishment. This guy falls within those boundaries, so we'll kill him off dead. We have a new heir. Um, oh, this is my brother's son. 
So he's actually in line to the throne, I guess. Wait. What? What the fuck happened? Moon Moon Pigu? And then we also have... What well, is son? What did his son come out like? Oh, shit. Twins. Oh, I see. Right. Look at the twins, though. They got half and half. So this guy got the brilliant immaculate trait. This guy got the silver tongue prolific capable trait. Huh. Funny you could have been born as one child. Well, that's okay. Um, again, we're still going to tidy up our airs a little bit here. Shit, we can't kill this kid off. Hang on, he's got low fertility. Does that count? It's a negative congenital trait. Like, literally. Can we can we get rid of this kid and maybe play as one of our future heirs? I feel like that might just saying might not be a bad thing. Might not be might not be too terrible here. <sighs> I've never been more annoyed in my life. I've I'm doing this for the realm. Shit, we've now got minor term general opinion and familial kill slayer. Fuck it. You know what? This guy can be the throwaway character. I don't give a shit. Um, this kid we actually can't kill off within the rules of what the committee have set out because he is silver tongue prolific and capable. Although maybe maybe I could find another way to get rid of him. I'm not sure, but this guy's a sacrificial martyr to tidy up the family tree somewhat. Who's next in line after this kid? Uh, Z Ziru. Uh, we've got Bert Bertuit. Bertuit. Where are you, Bertuit? Um, Claimants. Right, we've got Bertuit, who is also shit, so let's kill him off. Oh, we, we failed to kill him off, didn't we? Shall I just get rid of this dude? Oh, we're going to have Dynastic Stain if I go too tyrannical with things. Um, this is the guy that we want to be playing as. Shrewd, lustful, frail, not too terrible. Uh, immaculate, prolific, brilliant, silver-tongued. I mean, he's he's so good. Like, he's so good. This is the boy. Uh, Aspiring seducers, Zoroastrians value lustfulness, apparently. Uh, can we offer you a concubine? Perhaps someone who's related to you? No, we cannot. Uh, shit. Um, damn, he would be so good. Look at his mother, though. My god. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Let's not worry about that too much. Yeah, let's, let's prune the family tree a little bit with this dude. Oh, poor, poor Moon Moon Batoet. I've got him uh, this title because we it was tribal, so we could just take it all, and uh, apparently the temple was also under them. So we've granted that to this dude, which has disqualified him from succession entirely. Um, I imagine attempted murder. No, he's not pissed off about that. He's just pissed off about the murder, which is good because now we're one step closer to playing as the character that we'd like to play as instead. Um, specifically this dude. Uh, what's his name? Puka Veras. Great name. Um, so we've got to find a way to get rid of this kid. I mean, we could just wait till he's 16. Obviously, grant him a title, but that's in 16 years' time. Um, oh, hang on. Fever. Abdominal pain. This looks good. Let's wait and see how this turns out. No! It actually happened. Holy shit. That is dysentery. That attends to chamber business. We've actually done it. Well, I mean... Well, I mean, we only had to kill off two dudes, so I'm not. it's not like that big a victory. But holy shit, that's good. Now all we've got to do is get rid of ourselves. Um, what's this war for? To overthrow me? Tyranny? Claim on Samos? Well, that's not right at all. So, all we've got to do now, find a way to abdicate. And there is quite an easy way to abdicate. We go to our brother here. Um, I fired the, all the councils, so our state intrigue is as low as possible. We go to our brother. No, we go to a landed vassal, actually. Um, any landed vassal, this dude will do. Preferably the one with the lowest chance of actually being in prison. 51%. Okay, what about this dude? Uh, 44%. That's slightly better. Uh, this dude has 27%. Good, good, good. He seems to be getting higher. Nope, that's worse. No, that's worse. In prison? Uh, okay, so this dude, we're going to imprison the Duke of Sainsbury's, who instead will raise up in rebellion. Apparently, we pissed off the council. We're going to have tyrannical stain, aren't we now? Oh, well. Offer peace. Surrender. We abdicate to Moon Moon Pukaveras. Off we go. Goodbye, team. Thanks for playing. All right, here we are. We are now playing as King Moon Moon Pukaveras of Greece, a much, much better character. We didn't even get tyrannical stain for that. Oh, shit, because he didn't die. Oh, sometimes I impress myself. Right. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I didn't know that was going to happen, so I don't know why. Okay, team, here we go. Rulership focus. We've got a guy with brilliant, prolific, immaculate, and silver tongue. Range marriage. Oh, my God, he's still married. I mean, we should have no issues killing him off, I assume. History. Uh, let's kill this man off. Oh, we still got all our fucking artifacts as well. Why does nobody want him dead? Am I to court? No. Um, send him a gift, maybe? What if we imprison him? Uh, acted dishonorably. No one will care. Oh, okay. That works. We'll just imprison him instead. All right. Welcome. 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 Uh, welcome. Welcome. Let's not kill him yet. Let's get ourselves coronated. That's what we need to do before absolutely anything else here. Um, why can't we have a coronation? Anybody know? Oh, because we're at war. I mean, we've only just gone to war, so that doesn't seem right. Oh, God. We have no troops now. Shit. Oh, the succession. 
Oh, this is causing us some issues, eh? Um, what's one wrong with you? You're just discontent, right? Opinion of predecessor, minus 54. Too many health duchies, minus 10. Okay, fair enough. Let's get rid of that, then. Um, that one. There we go. Grant Lander title. Here you go, my good friend. You may have the duchy of Charsin on. Perfect. Right. Gotta wait for the council to become content before we can do anything in particular. Let's set little or Tesco Express to our crown focus. Dangerous factions. Oh, shit. Opinion of predecessor is gonna kill me. Um... Again, it was probably worth it just to be able to play as this dude, though, rather than that last fuck-up. Ambition um, is get married, but we're going to have to kill off our brother to take his wives and concubines before then. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Get these troops together. Oh, excellent. That's really good news. Oh, shit. She died. That's really bad news. Um, damn it. I thought we got ourselves a free concubine there. You you just need to go. Send it. Oh, shit. Uh, what if we pardon him? Then invite him to court. Then No, because if we pardon him, we can't imprison him. Let's just imprison him. There we go. Right. He's in the prison. Uh, plot to take revenge. What have we got? 100% chance. Plot to kill. 100% chance. Uh, throw him in the oubliette to start off with. That seems like a good plan. And then a plot to kill. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve this, Moon Moon. I, I've basically driven you. Moon Moon, Annaba. I've driven you into this. You're right. Kill him dead. 109% plot power there. Good. Right. And let's also get you building a spy network to try and help out a little bit as well. Let's collect taxes. Let's train troops. That seems okay. Proselytize everywhere else as well. What in the shit is this? The Red Dragon Knights Assemble. Oh, right, because they're reformed uh, Celtic, aren't they? Band of warriors dedicated to the protection of the innocent druidic peoples everywhere have taken up arms in the active role of the European stage. Great. Okay, so we've got Dragon Knights to deal with now. Fantastic. Um, they seem to be winning this war, and we don't seem to have enough men either to comprehend with them. Um, not good. Uh, okay, meet up in Little, because Little's got probably the same supply, if not more. Um, oh, shit, we can raise some more troops. Oh, we can raise a decent amount more troops. All right, bring those guys together. Do we want to be leading troops? What have we got? The 24. Can we switch to war focus? No, because we've only just taken that, genius. Um, right. Okay. Uh, let's go for get married. Let's find ourselves a wife. Have we got a wife of our dynasty? I assume so, given that we had 30 kids. Oh, shit. She's really good. Brilliant. Appealing. Silver tongues. She's not really good, but she's okay. Yep. We'll take her. Thank you. Uh, are there any concubines of ours kicking around? We need to kill off our brother, like I said. Um... He's still in our prison, I assume. Could we just execute him? No? Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, in prison? There we go. Right, okay. Uh, how about we just execute him? Did you have a valid whip reason? No one will care, but it will make us a kin slayer. Uh, I really don't like that. Um, okay. Throw him in the oubliette. I mean, if we're, we're going to be a kin slayer either way, so we might as well just kill him off the old-fashioned way. Uh, done. Right. Invite some people to join us, which they probably will eventually because he's not well liked. Uh, build a spy network. Let's get a new MOBAD who's going to proselytize. This is okay. This, is, this isn't this is too bad. All right, then. Here we go. Um, there's got to be a better place we can approach them from rather than taking a goddamn river crossing. Uh, okay, they're running down, which is actually not in mountains anymore, is it? Oh, that's good. They're just on hills instead. Um, hills are like small mountains, if you're wondering, which makes it so that the battles won't go so badly in our favor. All right. Um, we're going to trade Leper. Fuck off. What is with this game today? Jesus. One character's got a heart attack. Now everyone hates you. Now you're a leper. Why the fuck not? Thank you. All right. What's, what are these dangerous factions? Princess Moon Moon for Greece? Uh, no. Oh my god. I can't afford this. Yeah, no. No, I'm good. I don't want Princess Moon Moon to take Greece if you don't mind. Here, have some gold and piss off. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your pissing off gold. How much have we got? We've only got 29 left. Well, that's it. We've now bribed everyone we can. Um, you can be my designated regent. You can... Oh, God, they really hate me. Why do you hate me so much? Been in a predecessor. Minus 34. Wants a seat on the council. Hey, I have this empty advisor seat that I can give to absolutely no one. Thanks, game. Right, let's assault that one back. Um, again, just the hills. We should be okay. We've got 800 more men than them. Do it. Do it. You can win. Oh, they didn't have a flank. We're good. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I thought that'd be it. No. Okay, carry on. Getting straight stressed. A stress slapper. We're gonna we're gonna die again, aren't we? We're actually gonna die again. Right, upgrade it. Go crazy. Okay, troops stand down. Uh, you collect me some taxes because we're gonna need it. Who? All we have to do is somehow get up to. Wait, hang on. We can just take a fucking loan. Become money lender. Borrow loan. Oh my god. I was gonna say we've got to get up to 115 gold. Then we get ourselves coronated and everyone will like us. We don't have to worry about it because we're just gonna spend the gold on it instantly. Please don't go to war. Please don't go to war. Come on. Uh, everyone's declining to come to the coronation. I don't care about that. It's just as long as we actually are coronated. I'll be Sun the 8th or whatever the hell we are now. Oh, we're Sun the 4th. Excellent. How long have we been playing? 
101 years and we got four sons. Ah, uh, you know what? That's 25 years, boy. That's fine. Let the festivities commence. Why do I get coronated? Why the fuck do I bother getting coronated? What's the point? He died in a terminal stage of leprosy, and now we're back playing as a fucking tyrant. Ooh, I'm CK2, and this is a fair and fun game. Ooh, I'm having a really good time with this. Piece of shit. 